Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In the last video, we started working on a family using lookup tables. In this video, we're going to create uh, the panel and the screen, uh, again using the same lookup table. So I completed the lookup table. We used the width of the frame and height of the frame. I added width of the panel, height of the panel, uh, width of the screen, and height of the screen. Uh, based on the dimensions that we had. Uh, so in this video, first I'm going to create uh, this profile. This is the button profile for the sliding uh, door. So the best way to create it is maybe going to the right view. So how about I type TW to go back to normal views, tab views, and I want to open the right view here. And I want to create that profile here. So let's go to create extrusion. We're going to use lines. And it seems that we have 3.129, 1.399. So I'm going to start from this corner, 1.399 uh, the thickness is 1 eighth of an inch or 0.125 I can offset this line so I'm gonna go with uh, offset by 0.125 over there on this side I have 1.497 so I'll go with 1.497 going here and here and feel free to trim this part and I can go with this line here actually I want to delete this line so I'll put the exact dimensions which is 0 0.501 so line 0.509 these are all these are all in inches and it's gonna go here point one two five here point seven five one point one two five Point seven five one here point one two five here and here. Uh, feel free to put orcas here. In this case, maybe it doesn't make uh, that much uh, difference. So I'm gonna go with uh, maybe the three start and radius arc, the three point arc going from here to here and over here and I can copy this constraint multiple from this edge twice so this is a profile I'm gonna select the whole thing and move it from the midpoint to the center line here and I'm just gonna check this box finish edit mode if I go to exterior view it's very important that we lock this to the two sides of the frame okay now what happens is if we change the values let's say for nominal if we say six feet it's gonna automatically change and uh, because we locked it, it's going to go all the way to the two edges. I'm going to put it back on 5 feet for now. So this is the profile for the bottom. The profile for the top part is actually different. This is how it looks. It's for the top and the side. Uh, so I'm going to go with 0.125. So let's go with another extrusion. 3.125 on this side we have 
1.125.047.1.078.979 and the rest just follows the same dimensions. 0 0.047 here 0 0.047 0 0.979 and here and here. So I'm going to uh, move this to the center, close it, and just like the bottom profile, we need to lock it, lock the extrusion to the two sides. Uh, also for the sides, it's the same profile, so I'm going to go to reference level and I'm going to draw it here and move it to the center, so I'm going to go with create, extrusion, I actually copied uh, the profile, so I just need to rotate it and put it here. So I'm going to rotate it by 90 degrees and I'm going to move it to the center point in here. I need to turn off the constraint. Uh, check the mark and on the exterior view, make sure to lock it to the top line. and. We also need to move this a little bit, move it down, so it allows us to lock it. I'm going to mirror the left profile to have it on the other side, so let's go with mirror. It's going to be on copy, yes, select this line. And for the mirrored one, we also need to move this a little bit up and down, so it allows us to lock it at the top and at the bottom. So also here, going to lock it. Okay, and uh, how about we also join these here? So if I go with join, I can join these two elements, these two elements. So now you can try it again. If I change this five foot to six foot, the whole thing should update and it's going to read the dimensions from here. Okay, I'm going to leave it on five foot. And next thing I want to do, I want to create the panel. So far what we have is just a frame, right? So for the panel, how about I go to reference level and I'm going to start it from the interior side of this profile. So I'm going to go to create, set a plane. I'm going to pick a plane and set the interior of the first rail of the bottom profile. It's going to take me to either exterior or interior or 3D view. I'm going to work on exterior view. And here I want to draw uh, another extrusion. So I want to go with extrusion. How about I start it from, let's say, this corner. And I'm going to just draw a rectangle around here. Before closing this, I want to lock the top part of it. So I'm going to click here. So the top is locked. Okay, now I'm going to finish edit mode. Uh, we want the width and height of the panel to be also uh, parametric, right? Uh, how about first I go here for the extrusion. The amount of extrusion is actually 7 eighths of an inch. So if I enter 7 eighths, this is the amount of extrusion.
okay now I want to go to exterior how about I just isolate this element uh, this is our screen so I'm gonna define two parameters one for the height and one for the width of the screen so I'm gonna select this one I'm gonna name this as height of the panel excuse me height of the panel okay and for this one I'm gonna make a parameter and I'm gonna name it as width on the line panel now these two parameters need to automatically read the Excel file so let's get back to properties here and width of the panel we're gonna go with the same idea and height of the panel uh, for the height let's say size underline lookup is the same Excel file the name is height of the panel in caps locks from the Excel file so that goes in quotation mark here let's say I'm gonna go with let's say 60 inches if it does not find the value and I want to go with the nominal so I'm gonna hit tab uh, the following is not a valid parameter nominal I have a typo here and O hit tab invalid input the reason it says invalid input is that I changed the lookup table but I did not update it here so this is how I'm gonna work on it uh, I'm gonna close the Excel file save it I'm gonna go actually first let us hit apply I'm gonna go to manage lookup tables I made some changes added some parameters to the Excel file but it's not reflected so I'm gonna delete this yes delete anyway and import it again the same file now if I go with size underline lookup door is the name of the Excel file and I need to uh, check or copy the name of the parameter again which is uh, height actually I'm looking for height of the panel height of the panel copy this height of the panel I'll go with let's say 60 again and I'm gonna go with nominal now it's working perfectly it's reading the height of the panel and finally for the width of the panel uh, the reason I'm not copying and pasting is to go over what's happening again so uh, door and the parameter we are looking for is the width of the panel width of the panel copy this uh, put it here in the quotation mark let's say 50 for instance and I want to go with nominal again so it's going to read the nominal from here and look up the related value from the Excel file apply and OK right so I'm gonna uh, reset everything let's look at it like in a different view so now just to try it if I change the nominal from 5 feet to 6 feet hit apply all the dimensions would automatically adjust if I change it back to 5 feet or something see all the numbers automatically change now let's just uh, save this file and import it in a new project I'm gonna open a new model Imperial architectural maybe or you can go to browse and bring one from English Imperial default is good I'm gonna draw a wall here and I'm gonna import 
or load into project. Let's put it here, see it in 3D. If I select this door and go to edit type, uh, as soon as I change the nominal, let's say six feet or something, uh, it's gonna re replace all these numbers, seven feet, eight feet, and so on. And you see that these other items are grayed out um, because they are following uh, the equation, so it has to be grayed out. That means it's working correctly. If you put, for instance, not 9 feet, because we had not defined 9 feet, it goes with the default value, right? Uh, so we had only 5, 6, 7, and 8 feet. So this method is very useful when you have, let's say, 20, 30 items. Uh, you have it in an Excel file. Uh, just remember to have the correct format here is very important and the correct format in your table uh, in your comma separated file in Excel.